going to hop into our clips from our last week of competition here. Let's see what we got. First up was Compass Angler, and he has been super active this entire time. I want to say thanks for getting involved. Um, pretty much catching two pound fish everywhere he goes, and he had more of those this week. Uh, actually had like three or four of them on camera this week, I think, right there at two pounds. So on the leaderboard, but not going to be enough to take it. Uh, this was a cool one, Diamond State Piscator. He's a local guy out of Delaware here. Always good to see the local guys getting involved, but got himself a couple of nice fish uh, for the tournament this week. This one here uh, was 3.94, so really solid fish right there. And uh, puts him up there on the leaderboard, but not in the prize pool, unfortunately. But maybe at least for the, uh, the weekly prizes. Uh, another fish here from Bassin with Ty Tato. Uh, he went absolutely nuts. This was a blast to watch. You see he goes to the ground fishing, uh, getting this fish in. Uh, just over four pounds, 4.01. So seriously nice fish right there. And his excitement catching it was just really fun to watch. Uh, Kenny McSee fishing. This one, he cracked me up. He could not figure out how to get his stuff downloaded and uploaded on his channel this week. So he went ahead and just put it on Instagram and sent it to us that way but 5.28, awesome fish. Uh, Boomhauer, he's another one that has just been at it from the get-go, and just wanna say thanks, Boom, for your involvement. Uh, nothing crazy this week, just some smaller fish again. But uh, rigged up with Nick, uh, he got some entries in. You'll see him again in a second, but here's his largemouth at 2.76 pounds. Pretty solid fish right there. He was on a decent bite there. And uh, like I said, you're gonna see him again in a minute, so stay tuned. And uh, Rev Big John, Gets another smallmouth on the board here. Not as big as Biggie Smalls last week that he caught, 2.2 pounds this week, but another solid fish for sure, and great to see you getting involved, Rev. So like I said, rigged up with Nick. After doing the largemouth, he went out and did some striper fishing and took advantage of the fact that nobody else wanted to get into stripers and got himself on the board with a three 0.55 pound striper. Crazy. We're going to be catching 20 pounders soon enough anyway. So here's the wheel for this week. And Diamond State Piscator is going to be our weekly winner. Um, and since you're a local guy, I'm going to do a gift card to my favorite fishing shop here, uh, Williamsville Store. And uh, I'll get that out to you. Just give me some information and uh, hopefully maybe we can meet up there or something. So here's our first place fish. Uh, first place in Striper Wiper Hybrid was Peel and Line with this solid chunk you saw last week. Next up will be your smallmouth was Jacob Burks. Congrats, Jake. It ended up holding up. I know you were holding your breath there for the last couple weeks, but uh, right around five pounds. Uh, solid fish right there. And then last minute, we get a new largemouth that is just going to take everything over right now. AJ the Hog Father. Coming in at seven pounds. Gotcha, Pete. Just kidding. He fishes with Pete a lot. Just wanted to pull him a little bit. Peacock Pete, right from day one, had this thing in the bag. 6.9 pounds. Uh, you guys got to check out AJ's video this week, though. It's pretty solid. Uh, but here's your final leaderboard. Um, uh, so Peacock Pete, Shane Y, Kenny McSee fishing are in the money in the largemouth. We have Jacob Burks, Rev Big John, Northern Grit on smallmouth end, and then for the striper wiper hybrid, peeling line, rigged up with Nick, and then us. Um, so this first place, guys, we have the uh, the Mojo Bass Rod and the Bill Blade Kit. Second place, we have the Jigs and Trailers along with the self-install kit. And then third place is that Bill Blade self-install kit. Again, we wanted to say thank you for everyone that got involved in this tournament it's just been a total blast um, it's just cool I mean, we're all doing this fishing on our own channels we're all doing this stuff and posting it why not do it together so it's just been a cool opportunity and just want to say thanks again for everyone that's got involved um, for everyone all the first place winners that's uh, Pete Jacob Peel in line uh, I need you guys to send me an email or DM on Instagram with your addresses where stuff's gonna go to and then we've got to pick out for your Mojo Bass rod style length action um, what you want exactly. So this is this is the setup I have for my uh, my Mojo Bass. Um, got a set of the Baycaster, just a, a simple speed spool. I think it's like a 6.9. Um, I have it 
in braid, and then this one is a seven foot four, heavy fast. So it's great for the, the, some of the little swim baits that I have, like an ounce and a half swim bait, or if I want to throw uh, topwater frogs on it, you know, with, on that braid, it's great. Uh, and right now I actually have like a, a jig and trailer on it. So, you know, really versatile in that particular style, but you know, they do casting rods too. You know, I know Pete, you tend to do a lot of stuff with the casting, at least with the, uh, the fluke fishing you're doing stuff. But, you know, let me know what you guys want to do there and we'll get that sent out. Uh, second and third place guys, we just need addresses and we'll get everything out there. You know, so all you guys are gonna be getting the, um, the Build Blade self-install kit. And we're gonna do a video showing you how to do that too, how to install that, it's pretty slick. And it's always nice just to have that, that knife blade right there with you. So again, thanks to everybody, and we gotta keep going. Um, we already talked to uh, Josh Green at Josh Green Adventures and some other channels that you know, might wanna collaborate and do something bigger in the spring. Um, if we can get some interest in it, you know, let's, let's see what we can do. Maybe we can go bigger. Uh, if we have more channels to collaborate, uh, we could look at doing different styles. Uh, one of the things I was thinking about doing is like, make it a biggest bag uh, over the course of the month or something like that. Or, you know, biggest bag and lunker awards, or we can even throw bracket style tournaments in. You know, we do knockout head-to-head -head stuff uh, week to week. You know, let me know what you guys think, what, uh, what you want to do. And if anybody wants to get involved um, on the creator end of this, I'd love to help because this is like, it's a solid amount of work to keep up with this stuff. But we can do other species too. You want to get catfish involved, you want to get bluegill involved, crabby, whatever. You know, it's uh, we can just take it and run with it. But uh, and if you got any weight with sponsors that want to get involved too, you know, I think we've got something to go on now. Uh, you know, when I approached people this past year about it, they're like, oh, it's kind of untested. So we'll just see what you can do. So we've got something now to show them. Um, I want to say thank you to our sponsor, Bill Blade. For, uh, for kicking in what, the, what they're doing here. It's awesome. And uh, you know we've got more exciting stuff coming there too, so we'll let you know. But for now, just want to wrap this up again, say thanks. Uh, we've got more fishing videos coming your way soon. You know, this time of year, we start getting into the stripers pretty good. We still have not seen the big girls show up around here yet, but they're getting in now. You know, so we'll be after some 10, 20, 30 pound stripers here before too long. Uh, lots of hunting coming. Um, we're, we're still deer hunting, you know, it's the middle of the rut right now, but we've got duck season opening up, goose season opening up, we have all kinds of fun stuff happening, so we will be busy, and we're happy to share it all with you guys. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribing, staying with us, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.